Welcome to The Daily Me, the place for insights into life and business. Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Daily Me show. It's Rick Nusky here. I hope you're doing really, really well now. You know, some days I wake up and I think, you know what, I just want to pull the covers back over my head and go back to sleep. Things are, you know, not so great today in my mind. And I think to myself, no, wait on. There are so many people around you that just break through this barrier, this, um, I guess, this mental block that they have that, you know, um, I just want to go back to sleep. I don't want to do anything productive today. And then I think of the likes of uh, so many people, but one that comes to mind initially is David Goggins. You know, he's, he talks about, you know, stay hard. And I'm no <laughs> nowhere like a, a David Goggins, but I certainly think about him when I think, you know what, I don't want to get on the cross trainer today. I don't want to exercise today. I don't want to write another chapter of my upcoming book. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. You know what? Um, that doesn't matter. You just got to push through it and do it anyway. In fact, what David Goggins talks about is when when he gets those negative, um, that negative self talk going on in his mind, he knows he uses that as his trigger to actually get on the uh, on the cross trainer or go for a, a fifty mile run, whatever he does, something crazy. He's just an amazing person, <laughs> such an inspiration for me. Like there are so many other people out there that are inspirational. So I don't know about you, but. Um, if you struggle um, some mornings to get into it, get motivated, I guess this is part of what this um, Daily Me episode is about, is that, that motivation, that, that I guess that mindset, that intestinal fortitude to break past that negative mindset, even though you're not consciously doing it, sometimes the subconscious could be powerful. It's like, I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll just put it off. And you know what? I get that all the time. And so I could have produce so much more great content and been so much more productive in my business and possibly um, done things a lot differently. But what I have done is I've learned from those things and I started researching on self-development, self-help things. And, you know, I'm not right into that sort of stuff, but I believe there's certainly a place for it. Um, and, you know, then I started going down the Tony Robbins path and listening to him talk about, you know, habits, routines, mindset, looking after your body and your mind and your spirit and all these things that go with it. So just take away this is that if you get up of a morning and you, and you don't necessarily have the best daily routine, maybe it's time to establish something that you do religiously, routinely, every single day without fail, without excuse, so that you can move towards the goals that you want to achieve, you know. So today, for example, I, I woke up and I thought, you know what, I don't really feel like writing my book. But as soon as this daily me is done, guess what I'm doing? I'm opening up my next chapter and I'm starting to put uh, pen to paper, in my case, typing. I do see the power in the pen, but <laughs> for the sake of ease, I'm going to be typing it. Um, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to allow myself um, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it might be. I might get 10 minutes and it might be the best, most productive 10 minutes of typing that I've done in weeks. And it may not be. It may just be a, a, a pile of random thoughts and mess on the page. But it doesn't matter. It's about the routine. It's about getting into the habit of doing the things that you need to do to get you to the goals. Until tomorrow, I'll speak to you then.